Hello everyone, this is Michael Turner with Michael J. Turner Home Inspections and today we are going to talk about honeycombing, basically concrete slabs. Let's move to the next slide. Does your foundation look like this? If it does, it's probably honeycombing. Honeycombing gives the concrete foundation that pitted look with open cavities where aggregate did not fill the voids. It's usually caused from the following. Most cases, it's the cause during the initial construction where concrete forms are erected and as the concrete gets poured, the contractor did not vibrate the concrete well enough around the perimeter to remove any air pockets. Um, compaction is key when working with concrete. Um, also preventing cold joints. Sometimes we pour concrete slabs and we have to wait on a truck. Many times when this truck don't get here, the concrete has already started to hard, harden and the second pour on top usually is called a cold joint. We try to eliminate that. Um, usually on the job, if it's more than 20 minutes, the truck is gone. Um, always do a slump test where I pour the concrete out, test the concrete, make sure the PSI is correct and so on and so forth. Um, we usually put up some wood form boards and this kind of hinders the workers to get into this access. Um, so they'll use what they call a vibrator. And down here you can see this gentleman is using a vibrator. And basically it just shakes the concrete real well. So all those aggregate, which is basically rocks, gets pushed down to the bottom. And then they usually float the slab out smooth. If it's a garage or um, a driveway or a sidewalk, they usually put a little broom brush on it. Kind of gives it some texture so you don't slip. But most of the time, it's not a structural concern. I mean, if you had some large, large holes, yes, maybe. But most of the time, it's not a concern. Just have the foundation contractor come by. He's going to clean it real well. He's going to prep it. And uh, he's going to make the repairs. It's mostly unsightly. It's cosmetic. Um, if they do have some large holes, he may inject some epoxy um, inside those deep voids before he puts a skim coat of um, concrete base on it. And that's what I have for you today. Michael J. Turner Home Inspections, out.